Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to install and set up Windows 11 without an internet connection. Now quite a few people are asking me about how to uh, set up Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and also how to log in to the actual account without creating a Microsoft account. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and show you how to do it in this video. So first off, when you boot to your USB flash drive to install Windows 11, whether you're choosing Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro, soon both of these will require a Microsoft account to continue to install the operating system. I'll show you how to bypass that. Also, we're taking a look at how to bypass the setup here. As you can see here, the PC can't run Windows 11. So what you need to do here is push the Shift key and F10. This will open up the command prompt box, which will allow us to make changes to the registry, which will allow us to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So from here, you're going to need to type reg edit just like this and then push enter. And this will open up the registry editor. This is where we're going to navigate to a location in our registry where we can add in some registry keys. Now, this method is used for installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware only. You only need to do this if you've got a computer that doesn't meet the requirements that Microsoft are asking. So go to H key local machine system, then set up and then click on the little drop down arrow. And then what we need to do here is right click, go new and then key. So add a new key. And then we need to put in here a name for this key. So do lab config just like this. And then from here, we can now click on this folder. And on the right hand pane here, we need to put in our keys that are going to help bypass the checks that Microsoft are requiring to install Windows 11. So the first key we need to add on the right hand pane in lab config, go right click D word 32 bit value. And we need to give this a name called Bypass TPM Check with the capitals as you see them here, like so. Do this, double click on it and give it a value of one. That's the TPM check out the way. Now do the same thing again, D word 32 bit value. And we need to give this another name. So we're going to go in here, Bypass and Secure and then Boot and then Check. And then this will bypass the secure boot check. We're going to double click on this and give this also a value of one. Let's put one in here, click OK. So once we've done this one, we can right click again, go new, D word 32 bit value again. And we can give this another one here. So let's just put in here bypass again. So we need to put bypass. And you need to do a uh, RAM as well and CPU. So we'll do both of these. So we'll let's just go ahead and put in here uh, CPU and check. And once that's done, we can uh, double click on this and give this a value of one. And that should help us get through uh, the checks that they're requiring. And I'm just going to put one more in here. RAM, let's just put this in here. I don't think this really matters, but we'll put it in there anyway, just to make sure we've covered all the bases. But you really only need the top three, really. So let's just do bypass uh, RAM and then check and then we'll put in here a value of one. So let's go ahead and put a value of one. There we go. So we've got all these done now. We can now continue and close off the registry editor. So let's go ahead and close off the registry editor here and we'll close off the command prompt and continue with the installation. So we'll close us off and close off the command prompt box here. And now go back by pushing the arrow up the top and push forward again. When we push forward again, it should now give us the terms conditions. Click the tick in here and click next. Now we can go ahead and create our partitions and continue on with the installation process. So that is the first part of the video out the way, which is how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. If you're downloading the ISO from Microsoft's website and creating a bootable USB flash drive, that's how you would bypass it if you're installing it on a system that doesn't support that. So let's skip along to the second part of the problem, which is having an internet connection and creating a Microsoft account for whether it be Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro now, Microsoft are enforcing that you create a Microsoft account. So here, when you get to this stage, 
you will be forced to create a Microsoft account, as you can see here. You'll see there's no local account option here. They're asking you to create a Microsoft account. Now, of course, you can create a dummy account, but what we're going to do is uh, pull out the Ethernet cable or de disconnect from the Wi-Fi and push Shift F10, and this will open up the command prompt box. Now, the old way of doing it was uh, typing in Task Manager here, and uh, when you come down here, what you're looking for is this one here, which says Network Connection Flow. So you can end this process here, and then what it would normally do is move on to the next stage, which will allow you to create a account on local account. Unfortunately, Microsoft have now blocked this method, as you can see here. So I'm going to end this, and straight away down the bottom, you can see it says retry. This used to say next, but now Microsoft are enforcing that you create a Microsoft account. They won't let you do this method anymore. And there is other ways of getting about it. I did make a video previously to that. So let me go back and push Shift F10 again, and we'll go back into uh, the command prompt box, and I'll show you what you can do uh, to get by it. But what it is is the, the service is restarting itself, and this is what Microsoft have done. They're forcing people uh, to create an account. So you need to put this in here. So task kill, like so, and then space, forward slash, F, and then space, forward slash, I am here. And then you want to type out O, O, B, E, and then network. And then you need to type connection. And then once we do connection, we can type flow on the end here. And then dot exe. Push enter, and you can see it successfully uh, killed that process. Unfortunately, you will have to push the up cursor key to keep bringing that command up and pushing enter. And you have to do this a number of times to kill this process off because it keeps restarting. So you can see we've got retry down the bottom here. And if you keep doing the cursor key, you'll have to alt tab and uh, bring the command prompt box up here. So let me show you alt tab and then basically bring the command prompt box up. And you can keep pushing that cursor key up, and it will successfully kill that process. You have to do this about four or five times, and you have to make sure that network connection is up on the screen here. And eventually, it will go to next. It's a bit of a faff to keep doing this, but as you can see here, keep pushing the retry, and keep pushing the up arrow on the cursor key to bring the command up, and you can see the the PID number is changing and eventually it will give us the next uh, icon. You can see it's gone to um, retry there. So you have to do it very quickly. And eventually what will happen is if you do it quick enough, you will get that next coming up here like so. So there you go. If you continually do it, you can see how many times I had to terminate that, um, that service there to stop it running uh, so I can get past this stage. So just keep repeating it like I showed you there, and eventually you will get the next button coming up, and then you can put in your name uh, for, for the actual account that you want to create. So let's go ahead and put uh, my name in here. So I'll just put Brightech in here, and then we can continue on with the installation. Now, of course, doing this is going to force a local account. You won't need to sign into Microsoft account here. And now you can go ahead and turn all this stuff off. So I'll speed this process up, so we can get to the end of the installation and you'll see basically that we have now created a local account on this system. Now there is another way of doing this as well, um, but this way uh, you have to spam that um, task kill command in there to keep killing that uh, service so you can literally uh, move on to the next stage. It does take four or five attempts, but eventually it will let go and you will be able to uh, move on to the next stage. I know it's a bit of a hassle, but it's just Microsoft enforcing that you will need to create an account with them. You can either create a dummy account, use this method, or you can use another method, which I'll make another video on if you want to see that method, which is pretty easy, but it just makes the installation process a lot longer. So depending on how patient you are will determine what one you want to use. So let's move on to the next phase, which is getting to the desktop here. And we should now be at the desktop. There we go. And we're at the desktop here, and you can see here I've logged in with Windows 11 Home. This is using the very latest build. So let's go to the Start button here, 
and go to settings and you can see we are logged in with a local account we didn't have to log into a microsoft account now of course if you want to have a microsoft account by all means you can go ahead and sign into your microsoft account and you won't have to go through all that palaver but if you want a local account you will have to go through all that palaver just to get a local account on windows 11 home now remember they are enforcing this on windows 11 pro as well so i did make a video about them enforcing this on windows 11 pro users and if you have got windows 11 pro you will need to go through the same process as windows 11 home users now because they are enforcing this on windows 11 pro users as well anyway with that said so if you enjoy this type of content check out my youtube channel i've got over 2500 videos on here all about technology on how to fix computers how to build computers and also how to remove malware and ransomware and other things like that also while you're there you might as well click the subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all to be notified when i upload new videos if you want to support me a little bit more financially you can click the join button and join my youtube members group i've got three tiers of support you can choose which one suits your budget you can cancel at any time and it's a great way of showing your appreciation to what i do here on youtube anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed this video if you did then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also i just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support your names are rolling up on the screen right now have a lovely weekend and i shall see you again real soon for another video or on the discord server bye for now Thank you.